and something that's just fresh off of my thinking because I just finished watching it over the weekend in like four increments. I recently got through to watching Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 mainly because it's available now on most of these sites that I try and watch things at if you know you know but I did plan to watch this movie in a cinema that was the main plan the main plan was to watch Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 in the cinema I did actually have a plan of making sure that I bought my ticket you know I had a bit of a joint before I left I got myself some popcorn had myself some M&Ms and went to go watch out my local cinema that was actually the whole flipping plan and you know what I'm glad I didn't I'm glad I didn't watch this movie in the flipping cinema because oh my god how utterly terrible now I'm not too sure if this is terrible because I'm advancing in age and I'm just not into these type of movies anymore or if Mission Impossible has fallen off ever since I started watching it the franchise but I'm, I have a feeling it's probably the latter most likely over over time something has happened maybe the good writers all disappeared who knows maybe Tom Cruise might have had them offed based on his whole Scientology thing I'm not really too sure I'm just throwing things out there but there's definitely something missing with this Mission Impossible nowadays compared to the one I used to watch before or compared to the ones of yesteryears it was absolutely trash and the fact that it says Dead Reckon in part one that there's a part two due or maybe a three and a four and a five is really filling me with dread because I can't put myself through another two hours of this absolute boring mess one absolute horrendous 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 movie like honestly so utterly bad so utterly pointless like the main sort of prop the main sort of like villain he's facing in this movie again spoiler alert but most likely you're never going to watch this so spoiler alert if you are listening and you want to watch mission impossible dead reckoning the latest mission impossible please make sure you skip ahead but for those of you that don't care the main villain in this movie is what a sentient ai a sentient ai is the main villain of this movie it makes it sound oh it, it sort of got this like weird um almost um rattly dolphin-y type of sound that it makes as it's in the mu as, as it's in the computer like moving around and shit and it kind of projects itself onto walls and onto people's watches and shit it's on this guy's face mask because it's in a box like utterly bizarre one of the worst villain tropes i've seen in my entire life absolutely horrible i hated it from start to finish and i knew something was off when i saw i saw i think in the in the airport one of Tom Cruise's um, characters, Ethan, um, co-conspirators, this woman that keeps kind of, you know, um, this kind of pickpocket lady. Uh, she, they kind of have it. There's kind of having this back and forth thing throughout the entire movie that drives me crazy. Anyway, she could never quite trust him all the way until the fucking bitter end. It's really annoying. But there's a bit where they first meet each other in an airport, and it kind of zooms into her bag. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, the logo on her bag is like Coach or something. I think I remember the logo. It's like a saddle bag, a little short bag she has on. She she's wearing, and it sort of like zooms in way too close to the bag, and it feels like a big product placement, like an advertisement. And I knew from then on, oh, this is gonna be bad. This is the first few minutes of the show of the movie itself. I was like, oh no, this is gonna be really, really bad because some of these movies always have a you know a really crazy product placement there, like a flip out Nokia thing or like a BMW thing. But it's done really. It's done not so it's done you know it's not done as a kind of placeholder it's done in terms of like adding to the plot point whereas this was just a let's just zoom into this lady's bag as she puts this key inside there that everybody wants inside this really beautiful designer bag it's just like come on bro come on man come on and then the whole car scene with you know tom cruise's character and the lady with the handcuffs and she can't drive but they can't say it aloud and say that she's bad because she's a woman driver because that would obviously be lending to the negative tropes about women so it's kind of implied but then it's not because she's terrible and then he gets behind the wall and he's really good he's just like oh and then some of the, it, the some of the cgi they use on that car scene on the little narrow streets around italy are just i don't know man I don't know the movie was garbage but then I look at the box office and I see that it just about broke even it made allegedly around three five hundred and sixty five hundred sixty seven point five million dollars so maybe I'm in the minority maybe I'm in the minority of people that watched that and didn't and didn't think it was terrible because most people did and they liked it so fair play to them but it does go to show you just how difficult it is for us customers 
for us viewers, for us regular civilians to decide which movie to watch in the cinema. Because I think with this sort of franchise, with Tom Cruise being the actor that he is, and with what they've done in the past, you should be safe in the knowledge that if you spend £20, £30 to go pay to watch Miss Impossible in a cinema, you should be okay with the knowledge of thinking you can trust these guys. Because they've given you, you know, a decent amount of Mission Impossibles beforehand that have been worth the money to watch in cinemas. But nowadays, because movies and because the writing and because the talent level in Hollywood is so fucking crazily low, you really can't take anything for granted. You have to really be careful about how you decide to spend your money, if you care that way. If you have the money to throw it around and spend how you want to, fair enough. But I feel like I've been robbed sometimes when I spend money and I watch movies because most movies nowadays are fucking garbage, which is why a lot of us probably torrent rip stuff or watch only the stuff available on streaming sites and shit because the movie just doesn't make it worthwhile because the price is too crazy um and yeah this really disappointed me the entire time that i watched it and i was really glad i didn't end up making an effort to go watch this in cinema even though i'm sure the cinema experience would have maybe added to it it might have maybe changed my mind slightly i'm glad i didn't because i would have definitely left that cinema spitting absolute feathers if i had to watch that for flipping you know with having to pay my hard-earned money to watch that crap i would have been so furious so if you're into mission impossible stuff fair enough give it a try um the other thing i thought that was really distracting and i couldn't get my to keep my eyes off it was how weird tom cruise looks like the work he got done on his face unfortunately just hasn't sat right with his face um maybe it comes up differently in in you know for other people based on how you view things but once you see the difference of what he looked like prior and you notice the things that he's changed in his face and whatnot it's just kind of sad to see you know somebody just not being okay with growing old because i still think he's a pretty decent looking dude i don't think he would have looked that bad if he just would have accepted the fact that he's an older dude and just kind of went with it instead of trying to hold on to his youth and try to 